with Night Jiu Jitsu and I'm wearing this jacket today sponsored by the Budo Brothers and they're doing some really good work and my boy JD like put me on to what they were doing and told me what they were kind of about and so we were thinking well you know what can we do to kind of give them a shout out and they sent over some cool stuff and we were like well people talk about using gi techniques or kind of academy or dojo techniques in the street and so we tend to think about if I'm going to use a clothing choke how can I use the person's clothing against them but since this jacket was so cool I thought I would look at it a little differently and say well how can I use my own material against the person in a fight so we're going to show a couple of different chokes specifically today about how we can maybe use this kind of material that I'm wearing so it's not contingent on what the other guy has on and then how can we turn it into a choke in a self-defense situation so these are going to be some good things guys check it out So moving through different positions where we can use uh, our own material, our own jacket or whatever uh, uh, offensively to attack with and looking specifically at chokes from different positions, we have to pay respect to kind of the positional hierarchy. Once I've established a dominant position, how can I use this then maybe to attack with? And a good place for that is side control. So once we move up through the different positions in the, in the hierarchy of positions here, um, finding access to use this for a choke is uh, this is a common one that we can use so if we wind up here somehow through the struggle we're in a fight and uh, I wind up in this cross side position here like this so whenever we're in this this way here he doesn't necessarily he wants to get out some way and sometimes that involves him trying to turn and face away from me here like this so whenever he's turning and facing away I may want to try to establish a seat belt kind of like this here to stop him and then I may want to look to take his back but right here I have good access to be able to like use my own sleeve here on the jacket and then be able to come back here like this so you notice I have his arm inside and this is going to be an Ezekiel choke with the arm inside from the seat belt kind of position, I go here like this, and then I can come here, I can base out, and then squeeze here, and I have the choke. All right, guys, so there's another offensive application of how you can use your, your clothing in an offensive way um, off of like a tackle defense here. And this is something that I got from watching Yardin Gerby, who's a, a judo practitioner from uh, Israel. And she actually won the worlds like this one time. Um, and she hit a throw. There's a scramble, kind of wound up in a turtle position. And then she fed this in for like a modified Peruvian necktie. If we look at this from kind of a street application, then something that we might do is if Cody's coming in here for like a tackle here like this, and I, I go into sprawl like this here, and we come out this direction. So what's happening here is like I'm going to take this part of my jacket, I'm gonna feed it through like this, pass it to my other hand so it's going around his neck, out through his armpit, and then once I have this fed in, I'm gonna sit in this way here, bring my leg over the back of his neck here, this way, and I'm gonna put my shin up against his back and then pull and stretch this direction here, and it's really nasty, it's a really tight choke. So one we're gonna look at right now, we've looked at some other positions. We're gonna look at mount position, one of the most dominant that you can get into. And this can happen a lot of different ways. We've got other videos on how these, these takedowns and things can lead into it. But once we find ourselves in this mount position, so if I'm here mounted on top of Cody, he's the bad guy here. And I'm here, I'm monitoring position. So once I'm doing this, I can just cup underneath the head like this. But if I've been able to get a hold of the, the skirt part of my jacket, the bottom part here. It's the same kind of control. I still have the same kind of like uh, power and everything over the position like this. But you notice how I've grabbed this here, passed it over, and I'm gonna pass it to this other hand like this here. Now, once I come up, I'm gonna posture here like this. This hand's gonna weave through like this and come here. Now I have this nice choke. I can grab here, I can push, and then that's got powerful, strong structure around it. It's constricting around the neck, it's gonna pass them out. So looking at different chokes and everything, we're, we're looking to establish the best position that we can establish. Now in the positional hierarchy of things, you want to always try to be on top because that's going to provide you the best base, leverage, structure, everything else. If you have to be on bottom though, you at least want to have your guard position because that's going to provide you use of all four of your limbs, uh, good leverage and infinite base. Um, so I don't want to be on bottom, but if I have to, I'm going to wind up in this position. So what's happening here is that if Cody wound up 
on top here is the bad guy. Then from here, maybe he's he's trying to posture up. He's trying to throw some punches. I'm trying to defend. I'm keeping him locked down like this. From here, the, something that I can do to choke, since he doesn't have a lot of good material to grab necessarily, if I have this jacket here, I can grab inside the cuff here like this, and I can go for the Ezekiel choke here. Now, this will work sometimes, but what happens a lot of times, he tries to pull his neck out. That doesn't always work for him, but if it does and I start to feel my grip slipping away, I can let that go, and this hand here that was in front of the neck is gonna come here, grab here on the elbow. I'm gonna reach over, grab the trap. My knee's gonna come up to his armpit, and then I'm gonna throw this one over, and then slide seamlessly right into the arm lock from that choke attempt. So let's break this technique down a little bit and see what's happening. This is a kind of a street application of a guillotine show and how we can kind of follow up with that. We showed it earlier. We have a little clip of us training it, how we would do it in the gi. But in this one here, if I'm going to apply it to a gi, no gi, whatever kind of situation, I'm going to use my own clothing to help assist this. When he goes to swing at me here, oh, I kind of block out some kind of way. We wind up in this clinch. This may have been whatever kind of scuffle. We're just going off of a punch right now. From here, once we're in this over under, I'm going to use my shoulder to bump, boom, here and try to hit him. That's going to knock his head back I'm gonna slide up tuck his head down like this under the arm and then here's how I'm using the clothing to help enhance this I'm using this like a zip tie so what's happening I'm grabbing and sliding this up this makes it really strong now I can finish this choke with one hand so after that here the thing I'm worried about maybe is him blocking or hitting or grabbing or whatever with this arm so I block it initially but then I want to finish from a stronger position so I'm gonna scoop underneath this way I'm gonna half circle step back my outside leg take him down here this way land on top and then from there, I'm pulling here, taking the shoulder away from the choke. That's making it even tighter. And I'm gonna go till the guy's asleep. I'm safe to get up and out. All right, guys, so I hope that you got something useful out of this, some of the, these techniques you can try, whether you're inside the academy or the training gym or whether you're in a self-defense situation, hopefully not. But this shows you how some of the gi application, the offensive use of the gi application can be used in these self-defense situations if you're ever faced with them. Um, this jacket here from Budo Brothers, I, I feel like that makes it even more accessible, more applicable, because it's like a same kind of gi weave. It's got a really cool interior kind of design, like this here, it's got the hood on it, it's got some hidden little pockets and things that you're gonna have to get your own to explore, some little hidden extras that you're really gonna like once you get your own. So check out Budo Brothers, they're doing awesome things for people, um, lots of really cool programs for kids, everything else. Uh, check them out on Facebook, Instagram, their website, budobrothers.com. Um, and also check out my boys that, that helped with the making of this video, Joka Cody, Cody Kellison, he's on Instagram and Facebook and all that, JD Caputo obviously on Instagram, and then of course watch me, check me out on Instagram and YouTube and all that stuff, Eli Knight, Knight Jiu Jitsu, I appreciate it guys.